Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create shortcuts to websites on your desktop and then also possibly on your taskbar and start menu depending on which browser you're using. All right, so this process is going to vary depending on the browser as well. So there is one universal way that should work for any browser, but that's just to make a shortcut on your desktop. So for example, if we're on this page here, uh, we could just kind of minimize a little so we can see the desktop. And then you could click here for the site information where this little lock icon is, and drag and drop to your desktop. And now you have a shortcut to that website. And then you could right click on it, go to properties, change the icon if you want, you know, browse to another icon file. It could be, you know, ICO file, EXE file, DLL, and so on. Or you could, you know, download your own icons or make your own icons, whatever you want to do. But the problem with this is because it's a shortcut to a URL, you can't just drag and drop it into your taskbar, at least not in Windows 11. I haven't tried it in Windows 10. So you're stuck with it on your desktop. And if you right click on it, there are no options to create shortcut on taskbar or start menu. All right, so that should work with any browser. So let's get rid of this. All right, so if you're using Edge, you have a couple options here. If you go to the three dots, more tools. You have the option here to pin to taskbar, pin to start. So let's try the taskbar. Click on yes. And now we have our shortcut here. And then you can unpin it if you don't want to use it. Like so. Then you have the same option to pin to start. So this should come back. You might have to restart the browser for this to not be grayed out anymore since we just deleted it. All right, so the other option in Edge is to come up to apps and then install this site as an app. Then you can change the name, click on install, and then it'll pop up with an option to pin to the taskbar, pin to start, create a desktop shortcut, and auto start on device login. So let's click on allow here, and yes. So you can see it opens it in its own window. It's not really a browser window. It's like it created its own Windows app just for this website. And you can click around in it, and so on. And then if you close it, come back to it at any time. And then, of course, you could unpin this from the taskbar as well. All right, so now you can see it closed it from Edge, but I had this page open in the background. So this is the apps page for Edge. So if you go to Edge, colon, slash, slash, apps, you can see we have it here. And then we could come back here, pin it to taskbar, start, open it, create a desktop shortcut, auto start at login, or if we just uninstall it, we could get rid of it completely and clear that data if we want. So now that's gone. So once again, for Edge, more tools, pin to start, pin to taskbar, make sure you're on the right page, of course, and or you can come up here and install the site as an app. And then decide if you want to pin it to your taskbar, start menu, create a desktop shortcut, or whatever you want to do. And then you can just come back here and remove it if needed. All right, so now let's go over to Chrome and check out our options. All right, so if we click on the three dots here, we have this option to cast, save, and share. And you can see here we have the create shortcut option. Click on create. And that just puts it on your desktop. But if we look at the properties of this icon here, you can see it's different. It's kind of like an application shortcut rather than a URL shortcut. So in that case, we could right click on it, pin to start if we want, drag it to the taskbar if we want, like so. And then if we don't want it, we could just right click on it, unpin it, delete it from here if we don't want it any longer as well. All right, then if we also go back here to cast, save, and share, we have the install pages and app option like we have for Edge. Click on install. Now it kind of does the same thing. Then we could pin it to the taskbar if we want. And so now we have our own dedicated app. And then one thing you'll notice too when you do this for Chrome, if you click on your start menu here, you have Chrome apps. And then it should be listed in there as well. Then you can right click on it, pin to start. Unpin from taskbar, pin to taskbar, run as administrator, and so on. 
All right, and then also Chrome has its own app section. This time it's under Chrome, colon slash slash apps. And you can right click on it from here, open it up, launch a startup, create a shortcut, check the settings, or uninstall it if you want to get rid of it completely. All right, so once again, for Edge, go to the website you want. Go to the three dots here. More tools, pin to start, pin to taskbar, or apps, then create an application for the website, whichever one you want. And then for Chrome, click on the three dots, go down to Cast, Save, and Share. Click on Create Shortcut, it'll make a shortcut on your desktop, and then you could pin that to your Start Menu or Taskbar if you want. Or you could install it as an app as well and then pin it to your taskbar and then it will be on your start menu under the Chrome apps. So a lot of different choices there. So other browsers may have something similar. I think Firefox might have something a little similar but not quite like this. So you'll have to check your particular browser to find out for sure. And of course, like I said, for any browser you could use the drag and drop to the desktop shortcut if you just want a shortcut on your desktop. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.